Okay. What are you filming? It's the, we're gonna, we're starting a video. Oh, okay. For what? Okay, well, I guess I'll just start it. We were at a parade because today's the 4th of July and wow. our most patriotic colored snakes are hatching apparently. So we are ditching the parade and instead going to the facility to see baby milk snakes. Okay. We made it. We it's made right it. there. Is it? I see oh him. Oh my gosh! I see him too! Baby milk snake! Oh, open it, open it, open it! Aww. Oh my gosh! He's already there's out! There's two of them Oh out. my gosh, there's two that Three. are out! Sorry. What? Oh my Look gosh! Oh, four! What? One, two, oh, three, four! Wow! Oh! <laughs> Hello, Jeez, oh, I didn't mean to spook you. Oh my gosh, our first baby milk snakes. They're Aww. so pretty. Oh, he's so scary. Oh, look at you. Wow, if there's four out, that means they pipped yesterday. Yeah, so we, we must have missed them. We need to cut those now so the remaining ones don't get stuck in the egg. Oh my gosh, they're beautiful. Look at those stripes. Holy oh. oh, did you just oh. strike? He totally just struck Oh no. Oh, here. <laughs> I wanted to look in this one because this one's open slightly. Is there still baby? There's a belly. Oh, there he is! Oh my gosh! Okay, who else has pipped but not come out? This one's come out. Okay. That one's still in there. Yep. That one came out. Okay. That one came out. One and more. I think this one came out. Okay, so the we udder. Have the udder. Oh, that's right. This is the milk clutch, milk products. Oh yeah. So the udder, American cheese. I don't know what that the one was. Cup. And one that we weren't able to. Okay. Film. So which ones have pipped but haven't come out yet? Then the Hershey's chocolate. Oh, yep, that one picked. And the cheese. And the cheese. And then so that we... leaves milk carton here on the end, uh, the string cheese, the, the peanut, and the cheese, cheese curd. curd. So we have to cut three. Yep. All right. Friend, you're coming with. Oh my gosh, our very first milk snake babies. They're just as. Oh, I scared him. They're just as pretty as I had hoped. She is so cute. She's I... been a little turd, yeah, too. Yeah, she's been trying to eat us. It's been really cute. Oh my gosh, she's so adorable. Ah! New species! Oh, and uh, there's fireworks there's going fireworks, on. And Emily has a V on her face from, oh, the, that's right. the, from the, the parade. Yeah, this is from the Vulcans in the parade. Yeah. Like, who even are the Vulcans? As they... best we can tell, they're people who show up to things. Yeah, that's all we can figure out about the Vulcans. So <laughs> teach us what they are, other yeah. than people who put grease stained Vs on people's cheeks. Anyway, milk snakes. Ah! Baby milk snakes. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. They're Baby so. Baby milk snakes. So shiny. Wow, look at the yeah, difference in their stripes. Super soft. Like that one. Oh my gosh. Is yeah. like amazingly soft. Yeah, so smooth. Silky smooth. This is some of the. Ow! Hey! <laughs> really? What are you. Stop chewing! Okay, well. Like, I'm gonna get you. I got my food. So they're very smooth, very bitey, very pretty, everything. Not too bright. Not too bright, yeah. I'm not food, little girl. Would you let go of my thumb, please? No? Okay, well you can help me then cut the remaining eggs. All right, so we have the milk carton here to cut. Oh, let's see, we're just An gonna- Interesting one. Yeah, let's see, we're gonna open this up. These should all just be normal Pueblan milk snakes. So we're not expecting any like albinos or anything in these, just plain old milk snakes, but we are going to, oh man, they've got tough shells. I bet if we didn't help cut these, they might be kind of stuck. Oh, goop looks good. Yeah, that is clear goop. That's a good sign. I just remembered there's like bingo cards this year for things we say. Oh, that's right. I wonder and if I think anyone's the played goop looks bingo. good is one of them. Oh, oh she let go finally. She did. Oh, look at your little balloon. Oh, her first bite. <laughs> Aw, a lot of milestones today with her. Okay. <laughs> her first bite. Bite, her first breath. <laughs> Not in that order. Okay, three, two, one. Oh, oh. This one's like dark. It's like cloudy on the inside of this one. I wonder if this baby is gonna actually make it or not. Can we see any movement? Poke test? Um, I don't see any movement in that one. So that one I'm not sure of. We're gonna have to check we'll back later. Back. Yep. Okay, so, so that leaves the curd. The jug and the string. Okay, we'll do the jug next. We got sweet explosion in the background. Cuz, Merka. <gasps> Baby, oh, oh, this one's like pale in color. Got touch test, are you alive? Oh, yeah, oh, we're yeah, twitching. Sucking in. Okay, interesting. So just not ready to come out yet. Yep. That's all right. Now we have an exit to come out. Here's the cheese curd. And exit. All the puns in this yeah. clutch. My goodness. I wonder what the other things on the bingo card were. I don't know. I just remember the goop looks good. Goop looks oh, good. Oh, I think one was like, oh, look at the baby. 
be the high pitched. Yep. Yeah, that's We've probably done that one many times already. Oh yeah, they've already got that one on their bingo cards. That is funny. If someone can give me a link to the bingo cards, I will put it in the description so people can start playing. Since I know that's like a fan made game. Well, that one looks good. <gasps> yes, it does. Oh my gosh, I can see the reds. Look at that beautiful baby. Okay, poke test. Yep, we're yep. twitching. Oh yeah. Yay, we're alive. We look that good. One is string. String cheese. That looks more like a leek. It does look a lot like a leek. Whoa, this egg like grew. Whoa, look how big that egg's egg is underneath. Wow. That's a big... Can you get out of the way oh and don't gosh. escape? Stop, stop it. You're a little, little pain. What you... Oh my gosh. <laughs> Again? Really? Why? All right, well, start cutting that leek. Yeah, I wanted to show you this egg from the side so you can see how much it grew underneath. It's just all swollen like this egg has a big beer belly. She's like, you're giving too much attention to my siblings. Yeah, must... I need the attentions. <laughs> Oh, and I just realized there's no uh, veins on these ones. Oh, you're right. Yeah, we're not hitting any veins. That's really interesting, actually. She's hitting all your veins. She, but... Yeah, she is. Inside string cheese egg is... Oh, That's cloudy. weird looking goop down there. Oh, yes, it uh, is. That one's going to make it. I don't know. It's way down there, too, so I'm not even going to be able to see. Well, we've had those hatch before. Sometimes so. they do. Yeah, okay, so we'll see. So we'll get seven for sure. Yep. And then one or two head flinch test for a little more like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, seven for sure, up to 11 if we have a successful or a 100% success rate. So yeah. we'll give them 24 hours to kind of do their thing. We'll let her go back in there. Yep, you're out of timeout, yep. but not for long. Now you're not our problem anymore. <laughs> yep, back into the incubator for another day and then we'll take a look. Okay, well, here's a not so happy update. I checked on these babies and they were all gone, except for the ones that haven't hatched yet, like that one had his head poked out. And this one I found outside of the bin but it's because this is a broken bin which we didn't realize until just now but look if the lid is on they can totally sneak through the little gap right there so they escaped and are in the incubator so we're looking at the incubator now trying to figure out where they would be we checked the bottom and all that can't find them anywhere but I think what happened was they slithered out and they went in those vents, which means they're behind that panel. So now Ed gets to take that panel off. Right. And we have to He's find so we have to find these baby milk snakes. Okay, so this is one way to move all of the remaining eggs into the front incubator. We've been meaning to do this for a while. Yeah. And since we have to dissect the Wheelbanks incubator to find those missing milk snakes, we need to put them up here. There were other eggs up here. Okay, all the shelves are out. All so, the screws are out. Except for these two, so. Two left, if okay. If my calculations are correct, then these two coming out should free that. Okay. I don't know where else they would have gone except for in there, and they are small enough they could squeeze. Well, they could also go like that. Oh yeah, yeah. I really hope they're in there. I mean, this one popped, so. Okay, yeah. How many are we missing? Uh, three, I believe. Wait, no, there were four out, yeah. We have one, so we need three more. Assuming others haven't also hatched since we filmed them and then also escaped. Please be milk snakes, please be milk snakes, please be milk snakes. Oh. I also don't want to like pull too hard. Yeah, we don't want to break it. Do you want me to like, oh. Okay, well. Oh, okay. I do not see any milk snakes. milk snakes back here. Okay, well then where else could they have gone? Could they have gone down that hole? Possibly. What? if they dug in the perlite. They don't strike. Oh, there's a face. Aw, he's hatching. Hello. They are not in the perlite. Okay, we have scoured every inch of this incubator and we can't find a way that they'd be able to exit it once out of that bin. So we checked all the other bins to see if they snuck into one of those. They're not in there. We checked their own eggs to see if they went back in their eggs. They're not in the eggs. So now the only thing we can think is up here, there is a hole that goes down. Oh, you can feel the screw on each side here, but. They could squeeze between that. Yeah, and, and the side could of the. All the way down here somewhere. They could. So I guess we have to take these off now. Yeah. But if this doesn't work, then we'll take off those. And that one. Oh, and that one. Yeah, this, oh, this I is see. The first one, oh, so. so this is the first bar. Okay. Yeah. So I guess right. I'll take this one off and we'll see what happens. Ready? Yeah. Oh jeez. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh, they're all three Did of it? them. You were in there? Oh my gosh. One, two, wow. three. <gasps> oh, oh. oh my gosh. No, no, no. Don't escape again. Oh okay. my gosh. Oh. Well. Oh. 
The babies, they're okay. We finded them. We did. Okay, I'm glad they're not like they just randomly, you know, well, disappeared out of the incubator. Well, yeah. There's no hole. They, we couldn't Ow. find a way for them to. Oh yeah, have fun with that. Yeah, they they're they're chewers. Uh, we couldn't find a way that they could escape this incubator. And now you are, I guess, very familiar with how the yeah, really. insides of a Wilbanks incubator work. <laughs> So, yeah, so I don't believe, I can't believe they were all in this one. Yeah, they all like, chose the same one. Did they just follow each other in? They must have, because otherwise we're going to have to take off that one, that one, and okay. that one. So we will have to verify, oh, he's going after me again. Yep. We will have to verify with the clips that we just had the four and that there was three in the egg still, though. Because there might be one. That oh, yeah, just let's came make out. sure. I'm pretty sure it was just four. Oh, I see, because maybe another one hatched. Yeah. Oh, okay, we have to count baby squares. Yes. Okay, we have one super cute one whose face is out of the egg, but let's see. One, two, um, you're still in there. Three, uh-oh, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight babies are out right now. We're missing four? We still need four more. All right, well, now I'm more understanding of why there were three in one rail. Yeah, now we know where they are. Yeah. I'm going to guess... Let's see, we have four more? Yeah. I'm gonna guess they're... I'm guessing in this one because it was on the same side of the incubator. Like, I bet they escaped and then went through this one and that one. Right. So I would take that one off next. Oh, well, that's the easy one to take off, so... One just fell there. <laughs> ah! Aha! Uh -huh. There's one! Come here! Oh my gosh. This is an epic, like... Scavenger hunt? Scavenger hunt, hunt. yeah. Why? Why are they all chewers? Uh, nope. Nope, no more than that one. Go in here with your siblings. We have to find the rest of you. We have two bars left, and we have three babies still to find. All right. I'll go top down okay. so that the... They can slide so, down? Yeah, they won't fall from the very top. Yeah. Come on, give me the milk snakes. Nothing. Nothing in that one. So that must mean there's three in the last one. Hopefully. Hopefully. Please be in there. Oh, there they are! All three. Hooray! Yep, okay, oh my gosh, come here! Don't escape again! Come here, come here, come here. We have them all! All eight hatched babies! All right. Well, now that you have completely disassembled and are going to reassemble a Wilbanks incubator... <laughs> Am I reassembling this? Yeah, you I are. I think that's your job now. Uh, I found them. I have to babysit these milk oh, snakes. Oh, oh. Oh, just... They're so down. squiggly. Wow. Oh, and bitey. Man, they all <laughs> just want to chew on us. What's with that? Oh, you guys escaped it. Yes, these you did. these little turds. Why? All of them want to just... Ow, bite. Stop spinning. <laughs> <laughs> He's just going to bite you again. Yeah. Oh my gosh, what a relief. We have all the babies. And it looks like almost all of them have hatched. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> but yeah, there was like no way they could have look escaped him, the incubator. Look at them go. Oh yeah, mine have been biting me too. Yeah. These are like, so they're not hissy like bull snakes are? They're just bitey. <laughs> yeah, these are all bite, no bark. I'd rather have the hissy ones. Yeah, me too. So, okay. Yeah, let's... It's, at least I wasn't going insane because there's no place for them to escape. Right, you were right. You were right. Just had to keep taking it apart and we found them. Yeah. I think we got them all. I'm going to verify with Emily. But now I get to put all this stuff back in there. Are we, do we have all the babies now? Like, for sure? Yes. Like, have, they're all in here? We have all the babies, and they are little stinkers. All they want to do is bite us, but they're so pretty, they can get away with it. It's okay. All right. So I'm good to go with putting everything back in that Wilbanks incubator? Yes, you can okay. put it all back together. You could, like, assemble them for a side job I'm now. Probably sure I could. <laughs> you know how all the insides of those incubators work. <laughs> Incubator's fixed. Oh my gosh, it is. Now we have to fix this mess. Yeah, so the reason why this all happened in the first place is because this bin is broken right there. You wouldn't think that little bit of broken plastic would cause as much of a headache as it did, but here we are. So we are going to. Would you stop Those striking? little milk snakes want to kill you. Calm down, you're worse than bull snakes. And Vietnamese blue beauties, to be honest. Wow. So we're just going to move the. No, nope, they are stop little it. jerks. Stop it. Okay, we've moved the eggs over to the new bin. Calm down. Okay, I'm just gonna slap the lid on. Yep, that's Calm the easiest down. way to do it. All right, and now we're going to put them in <laughs> an incubator again. Yes. So that one's back to working. Look at it, it's beautiful again. Hooray! But we're not gonna use this one anymore. Yeah. Well, we will in the we future. We will, we will. This is absolutely a great incubator. <laughs> yes. It's very steady, it's reliable, but in the 
shenanigans of today, half of our clutches are now up front in the Pepsi fridge incubator. Yeah, to show up. To watch Hatch, which is what we wanted to do anyway. And because those are moved up front, we didn't need all this space anymore. So now we have consolidated and the remaining eggs are in the smaller incubator. So yeah. it's kind of nice to have both, mm -hmm. honestly. Uh, so these, uh, I guess I'll put here for now. Yeah. But they're going to move in there. So we have a good bit of feedback for Wheelbanks incubators. Yep. That Ed is going to explain. Yeah, so first off, this was found while taking everything apart. It's a spacer for something. I couldn't figure out where it went, so it's yeah. one on each side because there's one down there still. They fell off when Ed was taking off these brackets. Yeah. So, so, I mean, they work. I don't know what they're for. Look, it works fine. Yeah. But I think if Will Banks is watching this or somebody, one of the things they could do is like get a cap for up here because like, you know, something, if you have a small colubrids, it's going to, they're easily going to sit down in that. Yeah. Like right. they did for us. Like they did for us. So, I mean, it's a wonderful incubator, but yes. yeah, I think if Will Banks is watching and you want a way to improve the incubator, a cap just or a, a small plug, plastic cap. if you just a piece of rubber or plastic that fits on this opening, that would prevent snakes from going down into the, the bars. Yeah, so we're just gonna cut, fill it with paper towels for now. Yeah, yeah. We're not even gonna worry about it. And yeah, that'll stop most of it, so. Yeah, I think that But yeah, be. other than that, none of them made it behind those grates, even though I had to take that off. No, there's, it's, honestly, if this door is closed, there's enough of a seal that the animals aren't able to get out. Yeah. There's no place for them to really go and get pinched. So it's just, you know, they go in those little brackets. And it was honestly our fault because we yes. used a plastic bin that had a broken edge to so, it. So two things. One, check your bins <laughs> if you're yeah. breeding snakes. <laughs> and two, just check around your incubator. Yeah. Like like this, if I, if I got these, I would do something similar. Maybe I'm going to find a, some rubber we can stick in there instead. But Yeah, so it doesn't look the best having a piece of paper towel sticking yeah. out, but it functionally works. Exactly. So yeah, that's that. Yeah. All right, so now these babies... Are gonna go since there's still a couple more to hatch. Yeah, like that going... really cute one oh my gosh, right on top. He's been so cute all day. Yes, through this whole ordeal, he's just poking his head out. <laughs> like, is it safe to come out yet? And now it is, dude. It is safe to come out. Except for all those little mouths in there. That's yeah. not too safe. I'm sorry about your roommates. <laughs> but here, let's put them in this nice and warm incubator. They will now have time to come out, and we will check on them tomorrow. All right, escapees. It's been another day. Yeah. Let's see if they're all out of the eggs. Are they all in there still? Uh, they better be all in <laughs> here. Oh yeah. Uh, oh my gosh, they're starting to go into shed. Wow, it's only been, okay, it's been two days since we last film, filmed, but look, a couple of these are like lighter in color already. Empty, 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 empty. Oh, did they all hatch? Empty, empty. Oh, this one still has something in it. Sure, the one eye poke. Yeah, all of them are empty except for, oh, hello babies hiding under the eggs. Except for this egg, which doesn't look to be developed anyway. So okay. do we dissect it or no? Oh, we can. Sure, all right, all right, I'll get tweezers. Okay, for science, we are going to see what is inside the last egg. Oh, oh my gosh, there's a baby in that one too. Oh geez, really? Yeah, he's just way down in there, so I didn't see him at first. Let's check and see if this baby is alive first. Is this baby, oh, there's definitely a baby in there. It's developed, are you alive? Poke, poke, oh yeah. He's fine. Doesn't okay. Want to come out. Just taking his time. All right, no big deal there. How about this one though? This one I don't have high hopes for because I don't even see a baby at the surface. So I'm gonna pick at it a little bit here so we can see what's going on. All right, I can see in it a little bit better now. What is going on in here? Oh, weird. I see some color, but I definitely don't see a fully formed baby, and there is no life in here. All right, so it's safe to say that this is not a live baby. How far did we develop though? Oh, are you gonna hatch now? No. <laughs> are you coming out? He's like, stop messing with me. I'll come out, I swear. This is probably not the best time for you to come out. I'm pulling out a sibling that did not make it. Ooh. All right, so we have baby here. Um, looks like we might have some weird development in this area. Uh, other than that, maybe a kink there. That sometimes happens. I just like to see what caused the death. Um, but I don't see any like other deformities at all, so. I think, you know, it just happens sometimes. We'll just put him in a Ziploc bag and preserve him so that he can at least be used in probably like a, a college necropsy class. Okay, well, we were gonna set these all up in baby bins, but since we have one baby here who still hasn't quite decided to come out. Oh, you're late bloomer. So cute, I love how he just poked his little face out, hello. All right, you don't wanna come out yet though, so we're gonna give them one more night and I bet he will be out by tomorrow. So siblings, convince your brother or sister there to hatch and then we'll oh. set you all up in baby bins. They all seem like jerks still. They are. Look at how much black is on yeah, that one. I was just looking at that <laughs> one, wow. 
Look at this guy. Oh my goodness. Whoa. This is one of the newer ones, I'm pretty sure. Holy Otherwise, moly. we would have noticed that. Such oh high black. Wow, that's really pretty. I have not seen that in a milk snake before. All that right. also got a band that's not fully... Oh yeah, look at you. Look at this one's cool band right there. Whoa, that one's also really neat. He's also very sassy. He's got kind of a stripe on the other side of it. Yeah. Weird. Some neat patterns in this group. Mm-hmm. All right, well, good night for one more day and hopefully your sibling is out tomorrow. This is our final check-in on the babies. We are assuming at this point that if any babies haven't hatched from their eggs, they're not going to, because it's been probably three days since we last checked in on these guys. So let's take a look and let's hope that all of them decided to come out of the eggs. Okay, let's take a peek. Baby Puebla milk snakes. Ah, I can't believe we bred these. Calm down. That one. Yeah, that Jeez. one's just twitchy. Oh my gosh. Look at these though. They have nice oranges in their bands. Those are beautiful. Would that be considered apricot? Mm -hmm. I'm not too sure actually. We just bred two Puebla milk snakes together. Yeah. I'll have to look into that a little bit more. Where's the, uh, the black ones? Oh, oh like the... that one. Oh yeah. Ow. Yeah, they, they've got little teeth, man. Yeah, here's one that I think you were talking about with a lot of black pigmentation right here. Yep. There's a lot right there and it's kind of cool. The band splits on that side and over here. So that's a really pretty little baby. Oh weird, this one has like a neck thing Whoa, going on. Whoa, cool, I see what you mean. Well, look at that, that's kind of cool. That is, man, these are so pretty. I wonder if they're supposed to have like weird patterns like this or if these two are just, they're this clutch is weird. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Some are a little bit aberrant, oh. aren't they? Look at this one. Oh man. Look at how black oh, this geez, one is. Oh jeez, calm down. Oh, that one's in shed too. Yeah. Wow. But like there's so little. Oh my gosh. Oh, Stop yeeting yourselves, guys. There's so little red on this one. Yeah, you're right. He's little too. I wonder if he came from that weird egg. Maybe. Huh. Oh, he musked on me. Thank you. I was going to point out this one though. Oh, jeez. Calm no, down. We just decided to... Ah, stop it. Stop it. Oh okay, okay, okay. Fine. Apparently, we don't get to see that one. Time out. We're going to set up baby bins. And just like our Mexican black king snake babies, we are going to use this awesome new baby rack that has our logo on the. Yep. I don't want to tilt it because I have a couple MBKs <laughs> in here. But yeah, you can see our logo on the top. Thank you, Rich from Reptile Basics. You are amazing. And yeah, these bins are going to be a perfect size for baby milk snakes, I think. This will be great for hog noses, milks, the kings, uh, maybe some other species too. We're going to see as they hatch who's going to fit well in these. But let's set them up today for baby Pueblo milk snakes. Now, as you can see, we usually have a hide in the back of our baby bins, but with the shallowness of these bins of this new design or the new brand, we do have to get a little bit creative and use a shorter hide for the snakes to be able to fit in and for, to allow the drawer still to push into the rack. So we are using bits of curved cork bark. We've been kind of collecting these for a while, just holding, holding them aside for baby season, and now they get to be in the spotlight. So these are our baby bins. We have our little water dish. We have a leaf for a bit of cover and enrichment, and we have a hide in the back made of, in this case, cork bark. All right, and now it is time to put these feisty little babies into their baby bins. How many can I hold before they all start going everywhere? Oh, apparently three. Yep. There we go. Three. Oh, wait. Four, five. So it seems like seven. there's just instigators in this clutch. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Never seven. mind. Seven. Six. Six, six is the max amount of milk oh, no. snakes you no. can hold in your hands. Wow, they do not care about their life. No, they just want to slide right off the table, don't they? Okay, well, babies, here, I'll set you here. You figure out which one you want to go in, and as you choose, I will push you into the rack. Okay, never mind. We have <laughs> ten babies, so ten out of the 11 eggs hatched, which isn't bad at all, actually. So that does make sense why there was still a mass in that one egg. Yeah, so I guess we miscounted. There's only 10 babies. All right, and those babies are now in the baby rack. Oh, they're so cute. Here are the proud parents. Mom is on the left here. She's a beautiful, just normal, wild-type face Pueblo milk snake. And the dad here, who we forgot to mention their genetics before showing the babies, dad here is an apricot milk snake, or apricot phase Pueblo milk snake. The apricot gene gives them more of this orangey color to the lighter bands around their bodies, and especially around his face, too. It's more of an orange rather than the more cream color the female here has. And that is a line bread trait, which is why we are seeing some more orange bands in some of the babies so they have some influence from their dad with the orange bands and the, yeah, mom, the mom also has some weird because we were wondering about this yeah. with the the traits where the bands don't really 
would continually that, happen. Would that be considered an aberrant pattern? Maybe. With the, the mom here? Probably. And she probably passed that aberrant pattern onto the babies. Yeah. Some of them anyway. So it's really cool how these babies are truly a combination of their mom and their dad, even though both are just Pueblin milk snakes. And yeah, this is another brand new species for us to produce here at Snake Discovery. We have a lot of firsts this year. We do. Yeah, and our variable kings haven't even hatched yet. I can't nope. wait for oh, those. I forgot about those. Yeah, I can't wait for those. But these I'm still very excited over. And I'm glad the parents aren't chewing on my hands as much as yeah. the babies were. Or we, the Mexican blacks we were just dealing with. Yes, and uh, we learned some things during this video. We learned how our incubator works. We learned the insides and outs. And we found all oh. of the escaped milk snakes in the incubator. I so, completely forgot about that. Did you? just reminded me of it. What an exciting adventure oh, this, this clutch, clutch has been. Uh, so our next steps are to get the babies to eat, which I'm fairly confident that we can get these babies to eat yeah. day-old pinky mice. They're a type of king snake, so they're going to be good eaters, most likely. And after they've proved to us that they're going to thrive and that they're eating, they're pooping, they're shedding, then we will sell them to their new homes. Exactly. So yeah, we're very excited to be able to share our milk snake project with you. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Patreon backers, for your amazing support as always. Thank you, Rich from Reptile Basics, for the rack that is coming in really handy right now because our other racks are already full. And we'll see you next time. Before we go, however, if you want to purchase the shirt Emily is wearing right now, oh, you can yeah, go to right. snakediscoverystore.com and purchase this wonderful shirt. It's the Evolutions design, our most popular design, and it's one of my favorite shirts too. It has all the Evolutions in yeah. snake form. Exactly. Go, go to snakediscoverystore.com.